Okay, so I'm going to talk about this little program called mDesktop. It's a free piece of software, uh, and it allows you to have multiple desktops or workspaces, sometimes they're called, on Windows 7, which is a feature I feel is uh, greatly missed in Windows 7. Uh, you, you, it's a feature that you can find on many Linux uh, distributions, in GNOME or KDE, both allow you to have multiple uh, desktops. Windows 7 does not, but mDesktop is a little program that allows you to have multiple desktops. It's free. It's a very small program. Uh, you just go to the website here. Um, you can find the download. Just download it to just one little exe file. This version is only 714 kilobytes. Just go ahead and download that. Uh, run it, and it will then live in your taskbar, okay, right here, and desktop. Uh, you can click on, right click on this. You can go to your settings. You can change all the various settings, uh, shortcuts. Um, you can have it set to run at startup so that it always runs when you start your computer. And it's just sitting there in the background. It does not take up very many resources on your computer. Um, and it does its job. So the way it works is you can have multiple desktops. So this is my first desktop. I can switch to my second desktop by holding down the Alt key and then hitting 2. And I can switch to my third desktop by holding down Alt and hitting 3. I can switch back to number 1 um, and so on. And so I can have multiple windows open on multiple desktops and it's a great way to organize um, if I'm working on multiple projects at once. I can also I can click on a window here. I can send it to a different desktop by holding down Control, Alt, and then a number. Let's, so let's send this to desktop 2. So now it's on desktop 2. I can switch to desktop 2. And here's this window along with whatever else was open. I can send this back to desktop 1. And now it's on desktop 1. Um, <clears throat> you can also switch between desktops by coming over to your taskbar, right-clicking, and then um, left-clicking on you know, the number of the desktop. But it's much easier to use the Alt um, and a number key. It's a free program. Um, if you want, you can you can send a little donation to the the program's author uh, if you're feeling generous. It's a great little program. Doesn't take up many resources, and it 